Junko Inoshima. Junko. Junko, sorry. Um, fuck! Oh, thank, thank God! <laughs> so, thank you! <laughs> the wounds that killed her and the wound and the wounds that killed Mukuro Kasa are fairly sim- Uh, my voice, thank you. The wounds that killed her and the wounds that killed Mukuro Kasa are fairly similar, aren't they? <laughs> oh, sorry. What do you mean by similar? Ah, uh, been a while since we've seen that. What I'm saying is, Inoshima was impaled by a bunch of spears, and that's how she died. Mukuro Kasaba cause of death with a large number of wounds covering her body. Junko Usha Inoshima cause of death was a large number of spears piercing her body. They aren't just similar, they're the same. Yes, and they're the only two causes of death so eerily identical. And for that reason, I believe that those two bodies belong to the same person. So what you're saying is... That the skewered body of Junko Inoshima was preserved in the biolab, and then after nearly three weeks, it was taken out again and appeared before us as Mukuro Ukasaba. Either it's, is it Ukasaba or Ikusaba? Ikusaba. Here you go. The pieces fit, don't they? It explains how the wounds that killed her were inflicted recently. So, it's true. Shima's corpse and Mukuro Ikusama's corpse belong to the same person, dude. Wait, but then... Uh, what does that all mean, dude? Since there are actually nine victims, not ten, it means that someone was, we thought was dead is actually still alive. And they're the Puppet Master! Who is it, dude? Who's the Puppet Master, dude? Isn't it obvious? Mukuro Kashiba, she's still alive. <coughs> She used in whatever corpse. What is that? What, oh, what? what was that scraping noise? Not me. Oh, that was my blanket. I was put, trying to get it over. Oh. Oh, yeah, could sorry. you say it again? Cause, it Cause your blanket kind of cut you off. She, she used Emoshima's corpse. Thank you. To make it appear as though she she herself was dead. Therefore, Mukuro Ogashiba is still alive. She, she has to be. You're, you have nothing to say? I'm right? I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro Ikusaba is alive. Mukuro Ikusaba is still alive, but is that really the case? No, I don't think so. It's not... I don't think it is. It's not possible for her to be alive.
Silence! <laughs> no one was saying anything. Just going. It was just like that awkward silence, that awkward concentration silence. Silence. Thank you. Like when you're in the middle of a raid in a game or something, you're just like. Kill, 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 kill. Everything <laughs> silence. I kill you. <laughs> no, there's no question that the body we found in the garden was Mukuro Ikusaba's. Her body measures match the information in Mukuro Ikusaba's student profile, exactly. Isn't that right, Kitty Gate? Mukuro Ikusaba's height is 169 centimeters, and her weight is 44 kilograms. Her bust? 80 centimeters, waist 55 centimeters, hip 82 centimeters. All of which exactly match the corpse. And on top of it, there is also her veneer tattoo. I'm positive it was Mukuro Ikusama's body. But if she's not alive, then who? Someone who's actually alive but pretending to be dead. There's only one person who could be. <coughs> Junko. Oh my God, she's really far. Oh wow. You Inoshima. Inoshima, or she is the one who's still alive. It couldn't be anyone else. Is that really true, though? <coughs> huh? I will admit that as long as Mukuro Ikusama is dead, the only other possibility is Junko Inoshima. However, we watched her get skewered before our very eyes. For Junko Inoshima to still be alive, her death would have been been a performance. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Now think of it. I gently brought my hand to Inoshima's dead body. Like they did on TV and the movie. I checked her pulse in her neck and wrist. She's really dead. There was no other way to say it. She was completely and utterly dead. I confirmed that she I confirmed that she had died with my own hands. Inoshima was dead. There's no question that she was dead. Then all this about her being alive. Is probably wrong. You already regret your claim. Retracted. And you tried so hard to like me for your niggy, but it seems like your logic wasn't quite so logical. <laughs> Too bad, so sad. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Oh? You haven't given up yet, have you, Nagi? Huh? Of course not! There's no way I give up! Well, I'm glad you haven't given up. How do you plan to clear up this problem you've gotten yourself into? Junko Inoshima is unmistakably dead. Mukuro Okaza is also unmistakably dead. So they're both dead, dude! We're the only survivors, dude! Except for Nagi, who's the box ghost! <laughs> What about flipping the problem on its head? <coughs> hmm? Flipping it on its head? Assuming Junko Inoshima is alive, how did she manage to survive? How she survived? How she survived? I refer to myself, I'm positive she's dead. If she's still.
still alive despite that. Does that mean it wasn't Junko Inoshima who was murdered? That it wasn't Junko Inoshima but someone else? Using some sort of trick. Boop boop boop. Switch! <laughs> yeah, thanks, we know. <laughs> yeah, now we know. Thank you. <laughs> you know, it would have been more handy if you actually remembered it beforehand. Derp. Derp. That's all I can say. In my defense. Derp. Switch! <laughs> <laughs> and we wanna go home. Ninety four. Mm -mm. I got it. What if Junko Inoshima was sw switch places with someone? Which places? What I'm saying is she switched places with someone before being killed. And that someone was Mukuro Ikusaba. If so, then would you make that would make the body reuse in the garden murder Ikusaba as well. And on top of that, Junko Inoshima's measurements match the info in Mukuro Ikusaba's student profile. Mm. But if they switch places, dude. How do you explain what we saw that day, dude? That was mostly definitely Shima who got speared. Mm. And anyway, when exactly did they switch places? Did she perhaps use some secret ninja art to switch places just before she was killed? There you go, your Naruto reference. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> there isn't any way that it could have made the switch. I guess we're on the wrong track. I... Why am I saying my words wrong? There <laughs> is a way. There is a way the two of them could have switched places. Before... Yeah, I was about to say, before the beginning. It's likely that the two of them have switched places from the beginning. Huh? From the beginning? Why else would you not see her? From the time we first met, if we assumed the two of them had already switched places then... Okay, again with this. Any shot? No, I'm kidding. There's no need to make the switch just before she ki she's killed. Because the person who was killed was Mukuro Ikusama all along. Holy crap, dude! Wait! That's the Shima we met! Was actually Mukuro Ikusama! Yeah! I never noticed this about her, but she has freckles. Mm hmm. In her thingy. So, so, so never... that means we've actually met Mukuro Ikushiba. Ikusaba. Ikusaba. Sorry. Waka waka. I even talked to her like it was no big deal. We all met knowing a little about one another. Yeah, that, that is also true. Well said, Mr. Lemon. <laughs> So the moment Mukuro Ikusama introduced herself as Junko Inoshima, we had no way of telling the difference. No burgers. And that's how they switch places, by doing so before anyone could, sno could notice. But hey, uh, didn't Mukuro Ikusama have a tattoo on the back of her hand? There's a thing called body paint. Very true. Or, or a foundation. Foundation, Very yeah. True. That or. 
was about to say, or she could have put a band-aid saying she had a she got a tattoo or something beforehand. Yeah. Because you have to have a cover over it for a couple of days. And she has fake nails too. Mm-hmm. Let's just read the lines. Let's get it going. We're almost done. Nope. Maybe. What? For Senda. Senda. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there wasn't a tattoo on Inoshima's hand, though, was there? I'm sure she just kept it hidden using foundation or something. <laughs> That's so funny. We were just talking about that, too. And as a result of the explosion and the water used to put out the fire, it came off, revealing the tattoo. And on that note, the fake nails are Mugo Ikusaba's corpse. The same fake nails that she had. Are the same red fake nails that Junko and Ishima wore. But if she was using foundation... Then yes, it means the lack of tattoo is insufficient proof that someone isn't Mukuro Kusaba. So you did us a huge favor by not catching on to that during the discussion about who attacked Nagi. Too bad for you, Monokuma. It's too late to deny it now. Uh, seriously, this whole thing has been in the work from the ghetto, right, dude? I must admit, it's quite the elaborate scheme having Mukuro Ikusaba assume the role of Junko Inoshima. You know, would it be weird if I said it feels like a flat, feels like deja vu? No. No, because it feels like I've already, it feels like I played this game a long time ago. And they were able to pull off something so elaborate because they were working together. For her to be working with Mukuro Ikusawa, a member of the Super Duper High School of Despair, that means it's possible that Junko Inoshima is also a member of the Super Duper High School of Despair. What's wrong? Did you lose the will to argue? He's just scared. That's all. Scared? Scared of what? Fear and terror are emotions rooted in hope. All I have is despair. So, so such emotions mean nothing to me. Then why the silent routine? Because you're retarded. You really think I'm Junko Inoshima? <laughs> As if. Then tell me why you tried to obscure information about the real Junko Inoshima. Uh, I tried to obscure info about Inoshima. <laughs> okay. I actually swallowed. I actually swallowed spit. Oh. <laughs> oh, breathe it in. Sorry. I hate it when I do that. I hate it when I do that. And when I did that, and when did I do that? I didn't think that he would admit it so easily. But try as he might, he's not fooling me because I've caught on to his trick. I know. He hasn't hidden information just once, but twice. The first time I concealed something was during my investigation of... Where is it? There it is. Well, I was watching a DVD f with all our interviews in the AV room. Um. If what just the monitor is a DVD player played, naturally the video stopped playing. W what the? Why did? Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we appear to be experiencing technical difficulties. Uh, technical difficulties, not all, now of all times. Technical difficulties are not, are never late, nor are they too early. They occur precisely when they mean to. It's almost like magic. Do you believe in magic? Mono Bear don't ruin the song. <laughs> in a gun girl's heart. 
<laughs> you deliberately prevented me from watching the rest of that DVD. And the reason you did is because you didn't want me to see the real Junko Inoshima recorded there. Yeah? I get it, dude. A DVD with footage of all of us would obviously have Shima on it, too. And if Naige seen, had seen the real Inoshima? Hold on, hold on. Uh, For some he, reason, it's not like... Here. Here. <laughs> he would have figured out that Inoshima we all met on the first day was a fake. That... That was just a coincidence. Yeah, okay. Bring it, Mayor. Mm, that was no coincidence. The Puppet Master was definitely responsible. Besides... That's not the only time he tried to hide information about her from us. There's another case. Aside from the DVD that I can throw in his face. The rec room. Throw in his face. Not uh, the rec room, but the, um, what you call it? Bring it on, teddy bear. Let's go. Everybody mom. Everybody mumbo. Oh my god, is that from the Goofy movie? Yeah. Oh, but no, what can... Now, what do you have to do exactly? Like, hit it in the circles? You have, oh, to, yeah. hit, you have to hit it, like, when it gets near the circle. And each time you do, it goes up in score, meaning it'll deal more damage. Uh, I bet he's not good at Mambo, the dead Mambo King. And how are you, like, able to target on to those, to the words? The X button targets on to when one comes near. Oh, uh, okay. See, I never... I didn't get a chance to really play it since I was... I'm, I've been recording with you guys and going crazy. So... <laughs> the only thing that sucks about it is as soon as you get a high score, the thing starts speeding up. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! You got it, you got it! Go, go! Go, 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 go! Yes! I love how you turn how he turns around for you to shoot him. No, nope, fuck. What did oh, you miss? No, that, he chose the wrong one. That one, that one, that one, that one. Yeah, oh no! No! Uh, the next one? Go, go, that go, one, go, that go, one, that go. one. Down! Oh. Fuck! Oh. Ow! The group photo. Photo has to be it. Come on, three hearts. He only has one heart. Oh. Got this. Come on, where's your dick? Thank you. What was it? Group photo. Group photo. Yes! Boop, boop, fuck. Boop, 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 boop. Hey! Ah, uh, 11 phases. How much longer? How much longer, Christina? Well, actually, I did. Told you the whole trial is three hours. Well, I told you this was not gonna be short. But actually, it's not short. I think I remember seeing something when I was getting stuck on this part. I remember that there were two. Let's just go. Don't talk. Let's go. Ah, you are rude. Yeah, come on. Rude. The DVD isn't the DVD only time you tried to. The only time you can try. Sorry. Conceal information. You did the same with the group photo. <laughs> My heart. I noticed it while I was comparing the picture you gave everyone. There's something strange each of these pictures have in common. And what is that? What's strange about them? There's something strange each picture has in common. You don't see Junko's face in any of them. Face is blocked there. And there. And there. Yeah. And there. You don't see her in any of those. Well, you kind of do, but not that much. Well, and that's really. something is... Junko's face. Three, three and a half. That's not bad. Junko and Yoshima's face. Her face is the only one that isn't shown in every single photograph. Because something's always covering it. Mm-hmm. Like, Water. okay, how are you had to be lucky to get a shot like that. Her back is turned. And all the other ones, her back, back is, turned. is turned. 
I see Hino looks adorable. And then he's blocking her head. Yeah. Curse you, Ishimaru! <laughs> no matter how you look at it, her face is not being visible. Is even a, in every and even. Damn it! Her face not being visible in even a single photo is extremely unusual. Plus, Mukuro Ikesama does appear in these pictures. Which means that when they were taken, the two of them had not yet switched places. That's a good point. In which case, the Junko In Inoshima whose face is in here is without out the real thing. Which is exactly why you had to choose pictures to give us where her face couldn't be seen. Basically, if we were to see the real Junko Ishima, Isho, Enoshima's face, we would learn the truth. That's the Junko Inoshima we knew wasn't the one in these pictures. Zandu! Zandu! Zanadu. Zanadu. Nagi's right about everything. Junko Enoshima and Mukuro Ikusaba traded places before we met. And the real Junko Inoshima was killed, who killed Mukuro Ikusaba to make it appear as though she was dead. Yep, first, right on the money. Is alive now. I'm hyper. And she's the yeah, ringleader behind this academic coliseum. She is a super duper high school despair, and she is the puppet master. Bingo. Fuck, mm. doon. <laughs> you know what, screw You know what? I thought it was do. Fa Zana do. <laughs> Zana. What are these words supposed to mean? And yeah. with that, we revealed the puppet master's identity and explained how the murder was carried out. Bingo. No, 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 you got me all wrong. See? Don't waste your breath. There's nowhere left for you to run. I'll show you the complete puzzle and bring an end to this. No! no! Oh no. Okay, now it's puzzle time. Climax. Begin! Alright. Hold on. I want to take a look and see. Okay, that's uh... Okay. 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 We'll call me an idiot. <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry. Yay. I'm the last one. Okay. So, let's go from the beginning. And this, we'll be back. Oh! Let's go! Begin. That's all. Shaolin Showdown! Wait a minute, I think we messed up on that one. No. We might have gotten so. the Kitty Gary ones mixed up. Not long but... after arriving at this academy, we met Junko Ishina, the Super Duper High School supermodel. But she wasn't the real Junko. Ring ring. <laughs> the girl who stood before us then has switched places with Junko Inoshima. She was a 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba. Act 2. Ah! Oh. <laughs> You're like, ah! Ooh. However, it wasn't long before she was murdered by Monokuma, aka the Puppet Master. The Puppet Master. As Junko Inoshima. Act 3. Peek. No, wait! No, I think we got the. I think it's the one where she's getting the body out of the freezer. Yeah. Go, go, to, the, go to the left. Right there. Try again. Yeah. Really, yeah. Kerchink. Having preserved her body in the bio lab was severe, which Sarah does a morgue. The puppet master made use of her again. Thump 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 thump. She removed her body from the bio lab, wrapped it in a vinyl sheet and carry it to the garden. Also, she could get rid of Kirigiri by setting her up to take the fall from Mukuro Ikusaba's stage murder. Act 4 
To make it appear as though Mukuri Kazawa was still alive and, sec and secretly moving about the school. Do it. Ah, too hard. What? Wait, which one would that be, though? That Remember, it would be. Push the kitty girlies around. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That one was confusing. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. That's fine. I get mixed up easy. Because I can tell. Take a look. See, she looks behind her. He, she looks behind her. She sees her right there. Then they start chasing that. No, because it, it looked like she was trying to stop her. You know. I know. Yeah. Okay. I think Why do they have to make that so less obvious? And I'm probably gonna be, they're really probably be like, Chrisanta, you're an idiot. Attempt number three. I know I am. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yes. that was it. Stop right there! The puppet master hid her face beneath a mask and plotted to kill me. <laughs> then having burnt, burned the image of that mask into my mind, she fled the room. Have a mask. <laughs> and put that mask on Mukuro Ikasama's body. To make me think that Mukuro Ikasama and the person who attacked me were in one the same. So we would believe that she just recently been murdered. Act 5. <laughs> and... Kaboom. <laughs> and finally, the puppet master planned a bomb on the body so she could destroy evidence. So she could hide the fact that the body, that Mukuro Ikasaba and Junko Inoshima, the person we all met at the beginning, were the same individual. This is the truth behind Mukuro Ikasaba's murder. And the person who orchestrated the person who controlled Monokuma and the puppet master were one and the same. It was... And that's the truth! And the real Junko Inoshima! Shatter! Yay! How's that? That was everything there is to know about this case! What? Back to your old broken down act? You can try to run, but we're not letting you get away! Come on, man! Show yourself already, dude! Boop, 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 boop. Not in the... Escape... Endangered. Endangered species. How long are you going to stay in hiding? Stay in hiding. Give it up, Junko and Oshima. It's over. When you stop it, it's like really annoying. <laughs> over. <laughs> did you did you think the climax would really be the end? Well, you're wrong. <coughs> we just getting started. Junko! Showtime! Transformation YouTube! <laughs> Super Duper High School Smack, Junko Inoshima. I love those pins. I do too. I know. Hey, stop now. I've been waiting. Oh yes, I've been waiting, waiting to find mortals like you. Submit yourselves to me and half the world is yours. I've already prepared tiles for the real estate. I'll even throw in fame, fortune, and a home-cooked meal. 
What do you say? Do you submit? Testing. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? You don't even allow saves. <laughs> fuck you. Hmm? So wait, what do you click? You click no, of course, right? Well, I want to test it. Hang on. I submit! How's that? <laughs> Either way, uh -huh. it's a joke. Were you serious about that? I'm sorry. That was a joke. It's been so long since I've been out in public that I've forgotten what type of character I was. This is the puppet master? I think you should do go back to that safe state because it might have changed the outcome of people like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't even matter! Oh my it's the same thing. I know. <laughs> this is the puppet master? This is the real Junko Inoshima. Damn! In any case, I'm finally free. Day after day, week after week, constantly playing Monokuma. For someone as hopelessly fickle as me, that's worse than self congregation It's suicide. More importantly, your face. Hmm? What about my face? No Is something wrong with this face? With this face? Which is said to be as distinguishedly adorable as a hundred chihuahuas? It's like I recognize you. I swear I've seen you somewhere before. Come to think of it, I recognize her too. I've seen that face somewhere before, some time before I came here. Uh. Prep for the first day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two hours! Yay! That's right, before I came to this academy, I saw your face. All over magazine covers. And you notice on all the magazine covers she doesn't <laughs> have purples, right? Yep. That's an impressive <laughs> memory you got there. I guess it wasn't just luck that kept you alive. I knew it. Then what Moko Ikasaba told me in the interest in the interest hall on that first day. I can't put my finger on it, but you look like a different, different person. Is it all right if I could just do the male version voice for this? Do you want me to do her? I asked if you wanted me to do it, but fine, go ahead. Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're talking about like my cover shots, aren't you? <laughs> well, you got it then. Sorry, hold on. I'm just they always get prettied up for the magazines. Prettied up? You know, like, they touch them up. Ever heard of image editing software? Oh, that kind of touch up. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Lying to oneself is another way of being optimistic. Occasionally, it's a necessary thing. Well, being two different people. Is That's her, uh, Togami. Well, thing. being. You gotta switch your voice up. Can I say? Can I speak? Uh. Well, mm -hmm. being two different people, it's natural something would seem different about them. I am me. Mukuro is Mukuro. No matter how much makeup she wears, she can never become a super duper high school supermodel. So long as the barrier exists between mind and body, two beings can never become one. Even if they are twins. Twins? It almost feels cl cliche. I'm embarrassed to admit it. But, to put it simply, Mukuro and I are twins. Mukuro Ikusaba, the, ar the archetypical typical athletic older sister, and me, the archetypal 
adorable genus little sister. <laughs> this is the one where she uh starts cursing out a lot, so have fun! <laughs> Jingling a shima up in here! Thank you! The Super Duper High School Despair Crew called the two of us the, the Despair Sisters. Sister, sister. Oh my gosh. Did, <laughs> did you just suddenly change your personality, dude? I already told you. I'm fickle beyond hope. I even got tired of my own personality. If you're twin sisters, then why are, you, why are your last names different? Uh-oh, here it comes. That question again? I get it all the time. He didn't say the part in it. <laughs> he didn't say damn. Hey, I'm the only one that actually. Oh, curses sorry, in I didn't see that. Huh? Never mind. No, she, no, I didn't see the damn part. Uh, Uchiha was asking, is her character the only one that curses or actually no, says her? Curses? You know, no, she my. Gonna, oh, okay, I'll, let me repeat this. That question again? I get it all the damn time. Thank you. <laughs> I don't care if it's your first offense. I've had to answer that same question to the point of despair. <laughs> anyway, it's cause it's cliche as fuck. I come up with something yourself, and we'll just roll with that. <laughs> also, Yushia, you s you ask your character the only one that curses. Nagi says, "God damn it." Yeah, but I'm the one who actually says the lines. I say god I'm damn. the only one in this group that does it cuz I just go I'm I just, I'm just not the kind of person that does that kind of stuff. That's why we that's why we put I it feel away. like I go against my personality when I do that. Okay. Continue. But if you're twin sisters, that means you killed your own sister? There's a huge reason for that. Deeper in the ocean. Psych, I'm just shitting ya. <laughs> Okay, now you have to actually be like calm and logical here. Okay. Cover your top. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, which part? I'm sorry, but cover your top, Missy. We're recording. <laughs> Very well. Allow me to explain. I can imagine that. Wait, is she wearing glasses? Yeah. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> For this project, I required someone to pull the strings behind the scenes in the Academic Coliseum. Someone to operate Monokuma and keep watch over all of you. In a word, a puppet master. However, according to my calculations, Muko Ikusaba was incapable of severing that role. She was, after all, a pitiful sister. The kind of incomparable, pitiful sister who would go off on her own and, and enlist in a mercenary group. For that reason, I took the behind-the-scenes role and left it to leave her out of the opening, out in the open as a student. Keeping her with me behind the curtain was an option, but she wouldn't have been any help there. Besides, 15 participants is a nice round number. But then, there is a dilemma of Muko Ikusaba's title, The Super Duper High School Mercenary. It is, in a word, 3H. Hopelessly foul, hopelessly disgusting, and hopelessly repulsive. To know that she was far removed from the needs of society required no calculation on my part. On the other hand, it would be, have been a shame to let the beauty of my supermodel title go to waste. So, that's why, so why you switched places. However, she resembled me in, in even less than I had calculated, despairingly so. She was no better than a filler character, a girl A, so to speak. Coupled with her underwhelming appearance, many predicted she would be would be one of the first murdered. So I killed her. I wanted to satisfy everyone's expectations. Oh, tell me, 
That's the only reason? Naturally, that's not the only reason. There is also a more prevalent fact that I've gotten tired of her. Now go cute. Go cute. Go extreme cute. And cover your chest, goddammit! <laughs> Don't look so cute and you innocent! Know, you know, I never once had a thing going had things going according to plan. It's like planning things out, I know what's gonna happen, so I just start getting bored. So I had a change of heart and used Mukuro as a warning shot to the rest of you. <laughs> Mugo Ikosaba's death was essentially caused by your betrayal? I thought that might have been the case. When you killed Mugo Ikosaba, it was obvious she wasn't expecting it. Huh? What? Th that doesn't make sense. Why... me? <laughs> so you noticed. Yep, yep. Mukuro never have put on a show that believable. But don't you think she made a great example because of it? How can you be so carefree? You killed your own sister! How can you talk about that like it was nothing? What? You're mad that I killed Mukuro? Dad, you need to cover up your shirt. God damn! <laughs> Misunderstandings are so scary! Okay, don't pull that! We're super duper high school despair, you know? So, like, we have no hope when it comes to our lives. We despaired of the world the moment we came into it, thinking, oh no, I should never have been born. Tears I cried when I was born, when I was born, were tears of despair. So, for us, death and murder are all and all that is no big deal. That's what kind of people we are, and that's why we can't we can do anything. Since we're constantly in despair, we can go all out and not be afraid of death. Would it be bad if I made the thumbnail for these last for this last trial just a bunch of her emotions going wacky? Yeah, yeah. that'd be pretty good. Do that. Do that. You mean you didn't feel anything when you killed your sister? Okay, now this is... Here's the depressing one. Be so depressed. You don't believe... You don't really believe that, do you? For once, you cover your chest! <laughs> and she's my twin sister. Of course I'm sad. Well, that's about the mushrooms. <laughs> that's no, that's, usually, that's an anime thing. <laughs> yeah. If I wasn't, I wouldn't be so arousing. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god. Huh? Do you know how it feels to murder your own beloved sister? It's despair. So... Oh, so much dismal despair. Dismal, dejected, despondent, dystopian despair. Not quite there yet. Please stop using big words. <laughs> dismal, dejected, despondent, dystopian, dreadful, depressive, dismayed, desolate, downcast despair. Why is it spinning? I don't know. It's orgasmic. Okay. What are you on about, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are you on about? <laughs> I believe little despaired in her final moments. 
I mean, to be killed by your own little sister as nothing more than an example. She had to have died in the dregs of despair. I'm jealous of her. Dreadfully jealous. Oh crap. I never expected you to be normal, but this is preserve. Perverse. Perverse. Sorry. She's the worst kind of deviant, with an extreme fetish for despair that encompasses even her own. Genocide is missing a few marbles too, but this is something else, dude. Oh, gee, thank you. Excuse me. Would you please not lump me together with a homicidal maniac? We are capable of killing weekly. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I'm hopelessly beautiful and perfectly proportioned. Hopelessly brilliant. I, I, I'm hopelessly athletic. I'm despairing. I'm a despairingly perfect superhuman. Oh my God. No. With just that, you're a far cry from perfect. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. My white name is even more perfect. On top of that, he's also as a noble bloodline. Don't you mean a formerly noble bloodline? What was that? Formally. Explain yourself. <coughs> now it's time. Oh, here we go. <laughs> boo, boo, boo. You still haven't caught on. Man, you guys are seriously dim. And yet, here you are, cheering and dancing, when there are still mysteries left to be solved. Are you talking about our memories? So you solved the mystery. I'm the culprit. So what? Could I get you to hold off on the victory party until you've solved the whole memories thing? Of course, we have we have every intention of it. We solved every last mystery. And take you down with them. Oh, 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 I'm looking forward to it. Alright, dude. Then I'll go wait, sorry. Alright, dudes. Then I'll get right to the point, dude. What memory did you steal from us, no that? Hmm. There was the group pictures, then the interviews, which means... I got it! You saw our memories of our entrance exams. Entrance exam. Greg it. Chuckles. Not cool, dude! At least give us a hint! You guys have sponges for brains. I already gave you a hint. The memories I still have to do with a certain thing. Something. There's a super freak. So, something, sorry. Something about the memories we stole. Two and a half! So, how am I doing? Good. You're doing well. I can pretty much just say for the part where it's, um... What's the... Ah, fuck. <laughs> the incentives! You gave us the spark of the... Yeah, you gave, you gave to spark the killing and had... Oh my god. The incentives you gave to spark the killings have some connection to... Can't read today, I can see? Yeah. Sir, I couldn't help it. Yes, I know. I couldn't help it. I had pizza today. Like, don't they? Mmm. Pizza. Ooh. So, you remember. Well, you wouldn't forget something that important anyway. A sense of purple oni behind her. <laughs> it has the exact same aura as Kitty Kitty. <laughs> I feel your pain, Nagy. I feel it too. <laughs> it was a silly question, and rude of me to have asked. 
I extend unto you my humblest apologies. Oh my god, gang! I'm actually getting kind of tired. I have no clue. We might have to finish this tomorrow. Yeah, let's. Well, I do have to be up early tomorrow. So. Yeah, let's try to just get as far as we can. Right. Now, well, if you would allow me to ask yet another question. Oh yeah, it's a, oh yeah. Do you want to keep going, JB, or do you feel like well, you, you're gonna pass out? Now and just yeah, let's just stop now. So then do it tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah.